Hey kid, I heard you like some alternative mods. You wanna get fours? I swear to you, this will let you do anything you want. Anything. Don't give in to temptation. You can have the coolest combat. Just like Elden Ring. Climb anything. Paraglide like those new Zelda games. Walk the righteous path. Hey there. Four's new idols in Skyrim was revolutionary for its time. It was the first mod of its kind, adding new behavior files into Skyrim so you could have new animations the developers never conceived of. Problem was, it was tied to one man updating the engine every time somebody made a new mod for it. This has led to him screening what he allowed, but that's not really the subject of the video today. You see, Four retired from modding in 2020. So a guy came along and made a comparable mod that does the same thing, Nemesis Unlimited Behavior Engine. Also, he made it open. People can add their own files in Nemesis without Shikyo Kira needing to touch it. It was buggy for a while, which kind of gave it a bad rep amongst the diehards who supported Finesse. But if you set it up right, Nemesis works very well these days. Pretty much all modern animation mods rely on it. Precision, MCO, CGO, EVG's Animated Traversal, Skyrim Paraglider, Scar, and those are just the big ones. There are dozens that simply do not work with finesse. And actually, nearly anything for Skyrim SE or AE that says it requires finesse can also be used with Nemesis. This is because Nemesis generates a finesse.esp dummy file when you run it. However, there is at least one mod that Nemesis won't do that finesse still can. Here are the mods I'm aware of that don't work for Nemesis. Fnis support for Rigmore of Cyrodiil. Flower Girls for Skyrim SE. And anything that relies on this mod. Shame. Shame. Quick and easy, I'm going to tell you how to have both. So this video is not about how to set up Nemesis or Finesse. I'm going to assume you have both set up already and both are disabled. I'm going to be doing this on Vortex, but MO2 will be essentially the same. Just whenever I say deploy, uh, you can just ignore that. All right, so Nemesis is disabled. Activate Finesse and any mods that you want to be associated with Finesse. If you're on Vortex, you might have to redeploy here. And on either one, you might have to reassociate Finesse's actual location now so that it shows up in your mod manager as a tool. Open Finesse VR Mod Manager and run Finesse. I've heard that for this to work, Finesse needs to have no errors, but I don't usually get errors anyway. Close Finesse, go back to your Mod Manager, deactivate Finesse Behavior, and any other things that are associated with Finesse, but not Finesse Data. Activate Nemesis, and any mods that you want associated with Nemesis if they aren't already active. If you're on Vortex, deploy again. Open Nemesis via your mod manager and run Nemesis like normal. All right, after all that's done, reactivate all your finesse dependent mods. Keep finesse data on and keep finesse behavior off. If you're on Vortex, redeploy and everything should work. Keep in mind this is not foolproof. You might have to try again. You might have to delete your Nemesis output before you try this again. And like I've said a time or two, a new mod, Pandora, is coming that will hopefully replace both and be even faster. And please, don't hate on me for other people's devious mod choices, or mine for that matter. I mean, I had Sex Lab in both of those lists. Hey, I keep saying, make your game whatever you want it to be. As Parthenex might say if he had the internet, what's better, being born good or overcoming your evil nature? By doing weird things on the internet instead of in real life. Bye!